Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all of your many blessings. God, we thank you for everything you've done. Hallelujah. For everything you're going to do. Lord, we, we appreciate you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. subject what is living amen what is living amen and we're coming out of the book of st luke the uh 12th chapter and verse 15 amen 12th chapter and verse 15 I'm going to learn tonight about living amen this uh sometimes the enemy of our soul will do anything he can to keep us from uh, enjoying life amen uh, that God has given us amen an opportunity to enjoy amen amen the Bible said that life amen is just a vapor it appears a little while and then it vanishes away right Amen. And I, I, I want to take full advantage of this, amen, this vapor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just a vapor, but I, I amen, I, I want to vaporize the right way. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to spread some Jesus all over the atmosphere. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you feel the same way, amen, tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, amen. precious amen. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, if you will, go ahead and read for me. Amen. And he said Hallelujah. unto them. Amen. Jesus said. Take heed and beware of covetousness. The disciples. Uh, he said, take heed and beware of covetousness. Amen. Uh, read. For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the Amen. things which he possesses. Man's life does not uh, persist in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Amen. Uh, uh, we will talk about this. Amen. Tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Take heed to covetousness. Amen. Be careful. Uh, Jesus said. Uh, with this wanting to have stuff, Amen. That's the way I like to put it. Just, just uh, living to have, Amen. Amen. Instead of having to live, right? Amen. You know, uh, it's very important to, Amen. Have what you need to live, right. instead of just living to have, Amen. It's the same concept about uh, God dealt with me about a couple years ago uh, uh, saw my weight uh, spiring out of control saw my health deteriorating and the Holy Ghost uh, talked to me and let me know that I need to instead of uh, living to eat need to eat to live Amen. hallelujah Hallelujah. Uh, that'll, that'll, that'll preach. That'll help you out. Amen. You carry yourself. You need to have the energy. You need to have the good help to carry your vessel. Right. Uh, oftentimes we, we, uh, we live to eat. <laughs> we love to eat. <laughs> I see you smiling. Y'all Y'all know I'm telling the truth tonight. Amen. We, we, we love to eat. I, I, I love to eat. Amen. And, uh, but the Holy Ghost uh, lets you know that your, your body is the temple, amen, of God. Amen. And uh, we need not defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple of God, him he would destroy. So uh, that leads me to know that uh, it's a sin to, amen, to overdo it. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe the man of God, 
Amen. Doesn't need to be a uh, uh, a tank, you know, uh, uh, trying to, you know, endure and run and preach the gospel. You need to be, amen, not a gluttoner. And, I, and I'm in the word, I'm in script. Amen. You need not to be greedy. Right. right. Amen. Hallelujah. Physically and spiritually, you need to be, amen, amen, grasping all that he can get, but, but uh, monetarily, you need to be careful. Uh, amen. So we're going to learn about living. You know, the Bible said that uh, for a man's life does not consist of persistence in the abundance of the thing uh, he possesses. It does not determine uh, whether you're living or not. A lot of people have a lot of things and a lot of time they say uh, that, uh, man, I'm really living. Uh, they're living it up over there, living it up. But that's not. You know what living is? Amen. Inhaling and exhaling. Right. Hallelujah. You know you're alive. Right. And, you know, and I and I say this here. One of the things, Amen. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna come back and get this here. But I'm gonna we want to read a little more, and then then we're gonna come back and expound it upon God's word. Amen. Put it in our our life context today. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, read. And he spake a parable unto now, them, saying. Jesus, here we go again, speaking a parable, amen, to them, saying. The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. There was plentifully. a ground of a certain rich man, it brought forth plentifully. And he thought within and himself. And within saying, himself, he thought and he said. What shall I do? What shall I do? Because I because have no room where I have to nowhere to bestow my good. And he said, this will I do. And this is what he said to himself, this will I do. I will pull down my barns. I will pull down my barns. And build greater. And build greater ones. And there will I bestow all my fruits and, and, and my goods. And right there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. Now, uh, Read on. Well, let's let's say uh, we're gonna get a little more here. Come on. And I will say to and my soul. And then I I'll say to my soul. So so what thou hast what much thou good has much good laid up, laid up for, many for many years. Take thine, Take thine eat, easy, eat, eat, drink, and, and be merry. merry. This is what he said to his soul. Man, you got plenty laid up for many years. He already has uh, determined that he many years that he will be around. Amen. Read on. But God said unto him. But God said unto him. Thou fool. Thou fool. This night. This thou night. Shall thou be soul of thee. shall be required of thee. Then who shall those and things And tell me who then shall those which things. Thou hast which thou provided. has provided thee to. Thank you very much for reading that for me. Now. Uh. In life context, in us, in our life, there are times that when we were to have plenty coming in. Amen. Amen. And and when that happened, we are we are subject to uh, uh, building our own empire, financially empire. We buy new stuff. We 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 build. Uh, bigger storage houses uh, we 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 don't even consider the little things right amen we're caught up uh in having uh just as much somebody else have uh jesus said beware of covetousness amen life is does not persist in the abundance of the thing that you have Right. Amen. It's simply breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Amen. Amen. Jesus told his, the disciples one time, he said, food and raiment, therewith to be content. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know, and uh because that there's so much food and raiment, amen, today that uh people doesn't feel that that's really a need amen like uh they should right. they take it for granted uh don't even drink water hardly no more 
Amen. Food uh, is not that important because we have so much of it. So we are so much concerned about uh, what fancy house we live in, uh, the type of clothes that uh, we uh, we have, we wear, that, that maybe some uh, some rebellious cat, a uh, movie star, uh, uh, sports athlete has, uh, a rapper has uh, set the standards and we get caught up in the, all this type of stuff. Right. Fancy wheels and houses and clothes we wear and uh, we think that that's really living when it's just simply food and raiment there with to be contentment. Right. And, and we pray and ask God to do, to, to, uh, 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 give me this and give me that. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. And scripture said, you, you ask and, and you have not be because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your own lust. Right. Amen. Uh, a lot of time our purpose of asking and uh, from God is not, it has nothing to do with him. Right. Uh, he's simply being left out. You know, uh, the Bible said when the Lord come back will be likened to the days of Noah. So shall it be with the comings of the Lord. They bought, they sold, they married, they given in marriage. They done all these things. They were simply caught up, amen, and had time for all that and didn't have time for God. Right. Amen. Hallelujah to that day came. Uh, I said it'll be the same way when Jesus come again. Amen. And I, uh, uh, what is living? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, 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 it's simply, amen, uh, uh, living, breathing, and moving, and having your being in the Lord, and having such as you need. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know when you have the such as you need, amen, when you get excess, amen, it won't have you. Amen. Your spirit will be right. But when people, amen, are not content with such a thing as they have, amen, and constantly, amen, begging for something they don't need. And you get upset, amen, when you lose a job, amen, you had two cars, motorcycles, amen, to, two home, and then when you lose one of them, amen, you feel like the world came to an end. Covetousness. Right. Beware of it. Amen. Take heed to yourself. That's not what living is all about. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, amen. We we gonna cover some script tonight. Amen. I, I want you to, amen, let God speak to your heart. Amen. Teach you tonight. Okay. Educate you. Amen. So that you won't be so soon, amen, then removed from him who have called you into the grace of Christ and to something else. Right. Amen. Amen. It's all about Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, and uh, uh, it's 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 sad, you know. Uh, you know, let let me let me share with you here. Uh, Jesus, when he spoke the parable to those disciples, he said, uh, uh, "Tell me, whom will this stuff be when you're gone, when you're dead and gone?" Right. Ah, uh, let me tell you something. God is fair to each and every one of us. <laughs> Amen. You know, uh, you came into this world naked. Right. You leave in this world naked. You ain't taking nothing with you. You didn't bring nothing in and you won't take nothing out. Right. So how fair could that be? Amen. You know, nobody died rich. They all died dead. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to say that again. Y'all can take that home with y'all tonight. <laughs> Nobody in the world die rich. They die dead. Hallelujah. Y'all like that. <laughs> Amen. Uh, it's just the way it is. It, 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 it's a fair play. It's a fair game. Amen. You can get all you can get. Get all you want now. Amen. They got a song, amen, they sing, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Hallelujah. And when you tell him what you want, and he turn around and give you what you need, then you all mad because, amen, you, you didn't get what you wanted. Right. Mercy. Hallelujah. It's a sad and, and sick world we live in today when people have a misconception of what God desires for them to have. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Every little extra I get, I just tell the Lord, thank you. There's somebody out there might need something. I can share some with them. Right. That's what living is all about, being able to share your life. Share your wealth. Share your, your good of the land. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, that's what it's all about, being able to share with somebody. Right. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, whether it be, amen, tangible things or whether it be uh, wills and wisdom and knowledge. Well, you know, it doesn't matter, but you, you, that's what living is all about, being able to share with somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're, you're nobody die rich. Hey, you, you, you die dead. <laughs> you gone. Hey, man, you like Robert, you dead all over. It's all over on this side. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on, let's get let's get another word, Amen. Let's get another word. I want to help you out before you before you before, you, before I lose you. I don't want to lose you. I want you to go to Psalm seven three, Amen. Psalm seven three. Hallelujah. Wrap it up. Next time. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Put you all over it. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Come on, read Psalm oh. seven three. Oh Lord my God. Oh Lord my God, David. If I have done this. If uh what? Come on. If there be iniquity in my hands. Well, go to seven two. Amen. Cause I, I ain't feeling that one now. Truly the Lord has been good to Israel where I'm trying to get. Amen. Psalm seven two then. Lest he hear my mm -mm. soul like a lion. No. I know I'm I know I'm 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 calling the scripture. It's Psalm 7 3 or 7 2. Amen. Truly the Lord has been good to Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. Get my eyes on. I may have to go and get it. My reader. Hallelujah. 7 3, Psalm 7 3. Truly, God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. Amen. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. Hallelujah. My steps had well nigh slipped. Amen. I, I probably should have said 7 3. Hallelujah. Still, <laughs> hallelujah. My feet had well nigh slipped. Come on, you there? For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Amen. For there are no bands in now, their death. Now, David talking about uh, uh, when he took his eyes off the Lord and saw the prosperity, amen, of food. And he said, my foot had well not slipped instead of standing firm upon what he knew to stand on, he was he was slipping away. Right. And let me tell you something. When you take your eyes off the Lord and look at the world, look at the prosperity of food, you're you gonna slip. You're gonna have a problem trying to understand why it is that they seem to have so much and you seem to have so little. Amen. Amen. That's why Jesus said, beware of covetousness, take heed, for a man life does not persist in the abundance of the thing that he possesses. Right. Amen. Uh, read on. For there are no bands in their death. For there's no bands in their death. But their strength is their firm. Their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Amen. Hallelujah. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasses them Therefore, like a chain. Therefore pride compasses them like a chain. Won't you go on down to verse 16 for me and read there. Pick it up down there. Maybe 16. Uh, we when, did it. when I thought to know this. Now he said, when I thought to know all this, when it all came to my senses, it was when I came to my mind, for me. it was first and I thought about it, it was too painful for me to look and to understand why it is that they're not serving God and they seem to have so much. Amen. Amen. That's where a lot of amen saints get overthrown because they're listening to those false preachers teaching that name it, claim it, amen, believe it and receive it, doubt it and go without it, and the prosperity plan and package, gift, 
Amen. They think, they teach that, amen, gain is godliness. Amen. But when the scripture plainly dispute that. Hallelujah. Come on, read with me. Until amen. I went into until the sanctuary I went, of God. I, I thought about it. this thing was bothering me. It was too much for me until I went to the sanctuary of God. Amen. Understood then I understood therein. therein. Amen. That's why we are teaching, amen, preaching tonight, amen, to understand what living is all about. Amen. When you think about, amen, all the things that we pursue in life, trying to be happy. Amen. God did not call for us to be happy, but simply give us peace and joy. You can amen. go and purchase happiness, but you can't buy peace and joy. Right. That comes from God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to Jesus. Amen. Come on, read. Surely, Surely. God did set them in slippery Surely. places. Surely, God did set them in slippery places. When they thought they were standing, they're not standing. Right. Amen. Their foundation, amen, is like sinking sand. Thou castest them down into destruction. Hallelujah. Amen. Cast them down to destruction. I want you to go get me, amen, First Timothy 6 and verse Oh, hallelujah. Three. We'll pick it up right there. I hope to be able to, amen, share this, amen, with some soul tonight. Amen. I want you to be blessed, amen. What is living? Amen. Hallelujah. Living, amen, amen, without God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not living at all. Right. Amen. Uh, all the material things in the world, uh, amen, will never satisfy the soul. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Right. Amen. Come on, read. If any man teach otherwise. If any man teach otherwise and, anything outside the doctrine of Christ or the word of God. And consent not, and to, consent not words, to sound doctrine, wholesome words. Even the words Even of our the, Lord Jesus the words Christ, of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according and to God, to the doctrine which is according to godliness, the godliness. He is the proud. teaching that is according to godliness. If he's not teaching the teaching that is according to godliness, Amen. He is proud. Come on. Knowing nothing. He is proud knowing nothing. He but, don't know nothing. But amen. noting about questions. But doubting about what questions. Amen. He got a lot of controversy against, amen, the truth. Amen. Come on, read. And strikes of words. And strikes of words. Read Therefore on. Therefore cometh envy. Therefore cometh envy. Strife. Strife. Railing. Railing. Evil surmising. Perverse, perverse disputing of, of men, a corrupt mind, and destitute of and the truth. And he destitute of the truth, amen. Supposing that gain is And he teaches these, this is what we're talking about, these these high powerful lying preachers, amen, today, teaching you that gain is godliness. Amen. He said the, the, the word of God said, get away from it. Withdraw thyself. Amen. Come on, read. But he will show you why. Because godliness God with, with contentment, contentment is, is great greater gain. gain. It's great gain. Right. Amen. It's better to have God, amen, with contentment than to have a whole lot of stuff being covetousness. Amen. amen. Read. For we brought nothing into For this world. There is nothing that we brought into this world. We came into this world naked. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. It's a fair plane. God dealt it fair. Amen. It is certain that he fixed it up real good. That when you leave, you ain't taking nothing. Nobody die rich. They simply die dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey, the Holy Ghost gives me this here. Amen. Come on, read. And having food and raiment. Oh, we don't we don't like that part right there. Having just food and raiment. Let us be let there us, with content. There will be content. Oh no, we oh we bypass that. Hey, Amen. We take that for granted because there's so much of that all around us. Hey, Amen. We ain't satisfied, hey, Amen, with just having food and raiment. We right. got to have something else besides that. Come on, read. But they that will be rich. But they that will be rich fall into will fall temptation into temptation. And a snare. You go ahead and try to get rich, hey, Amen. We we'll fall into temptation and a snare. And into many and foolish. And into many foolish. And hurtful, and hurtful love, love, which drown which men, drown in, men destruction in destruction and, and in prediction. Amen. Let me tell you something. There are a lot of wealthy people, amen, amen, breathing through a tube, trying to get some air. Amen. He can't buy enough air to fix that broken body. Right. Amen. Can't buy enough peace. Amen. Can't buy enough happiness to satisfy an empty soul. 
Right. Amen. 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 Godliness with contentment is great gain. Right. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing that you can gain and gather in this world will satisfy the emptiness and loneliness. Amen. The place that God put in your heart amen. for the Holy Ghost to dwell amen. in. We need, amen, amen, Jesus in our life to feel that emptiness and loneliness in us. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Amen. Hallelujah. When you start, amen, they sing the song. Hey, man, I touched a little while ago. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Amen. Why don't you try sometime asking him? The Bible says, ask. Stop singing those songs that lead you, amen, to de demand God to do something for you that he don't want to do. Hallelujah. You start asking for what you want, amen, you probably won't, amen, get what you need. Right. Amen. Try asking sometime. God got a few requests of his own. Why don't you do what he said? The Bible said, amen, if you abide in me, my word abide in you. <laughs> Ask what you will. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Oh, this is too hard for, amen, the one that really just want the ill ticker. Amen. Oh, you, you, you ask. Amen. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you ask the will of God. Right, man. Amen. There'll be so much a word of God in you, you won't be asking for a whole lot of stuff to consume upon your own lust. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You'll bless somebody. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You will truly be a blessing instead of a curse to somebody. Right. Right. Hallelujah. You know, when the day of Pentecost, amen, came, it really amazed me. I always think about it. The first thing that God did, amen, in that situation was simply... He shook up their finances and they start giving, amen, to each other. Made sure that everybody had something. Welfare was in the church, born in the church, amen, hallelujah. Amen. amen, the people need to be blessed in the church. Preachers shouldn't always get everything, amen, and fatten himself up, amen, and leave the people starving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to have a Holy Ghost. Amen. I pour and amen. Right. Wherein they were taken, put it all at the apostle's feet, and he'd start to strip it out. Why don't we have, amen, a church anniversary till a pastor anniversary? Amen. Hallelujah. Why don't we start doing some things for the parishioners? Amen. We're, we're living in the last days. Amen. amen. Where we think living is having it all. Fine cars, airplanes. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, uh, we gone overboard. What would Jesus do? Oh, nobody want to hear. <laughs> Hallelujah. What would Jesus ride on the day if he came? <laughs> would he catch a bus? Or would he catch a plane or train? Or would he ride? <laughs> what would he do? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> would he have an entourage of security? And preaching, don't do I walk through the battle of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. Hallelujah. What would Jesus do today, amen, amen, if he were here with all this stuff going on that we see in today? Amen. The devil don't like me. Amen. Hallelujah. I never asked him why. <laughs> I know why he don't like me. Amen. Because I tell the truth. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. What you expect to come out of truth harder? Amen. A lie? What kind of name like that would be telling you a lie? Uh, it, it, this place ought to be full of the word of God. I ought to be yeah. preaching. Amen. Word, word. Truth harvest? Somebody Truth ought to come out of somewhere out of here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Y'all pray for me. Amen. That God will continue and dial me with Amen. With the with the with the spirit of knowledge and understanding and the spirit of wisdom to apply. Amen. All that we get. Amen.